Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Jungle Jerry here with Tiki71. Today, we're gonna make real, genuine grenadine. Not the stuff you buy in the liquor store in the little bottle, it's got a flower name on it. That is not grenadine. Real grenadine is made with pomegranate juice. It's a really simple recipe at its base level. Uh, it's reduced pomegranate juice with some sugar. We're gonna add a couple of other things to it to, to give it a kick and make it look great. So come along and let's get to it. For this recipe, you're gonna have 100% pomegranate juice, white sugar, not the uh, dark sugar because we want a bright color to our grenadine. I also use hibiscus flowers toward the end and I'll show you how to do that. We're gonna add that to the mix. It's gonna give, uh, give it a better color than just with the plain pomegranate. One other thing that I'm gonna do back here is I've got some mango and pineapple chunks that I'm gonna throw into the mix as we reduce it down. It's gonna make it a little bit sweeter and a little less tart. And in my case, I've got two one and a half liter bottles here. So I wanna fill this thing up here. And the general rule is about a cup of sugar to a liter. And so in my case, I'm gonna be doing three cups. Now for this recipe, I know a lot of times when you're making simple syrups, you wanna bring it to a boil. We are not on this recipe. I'm gonna go just below medium. All we wanna do is simmer this thing. It's gonna be a slow simmer uh, reduction. Generally your total time to make grenadine is gonna be about an hour and a half or so. In this case though, I am doing three liters, so it might take a little bit longer. That's why I'm using a really wide pan here. It already looks darker than the, uh, <laughs> The liquor store kind you can buy in the little uh, bottle. While I'm waiting for that to come up to temp, I bought some pineapple, mango, and papaya frozen, and you can buy it fresh, ch chunked up, you can cut it yourself. Even the frozen is fine, but I'm gonna add this to the mix here. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna give it a little extra sweetness, kind of cut down on the tartness of the pomegranate. And as we reduce this thing down, it's gonna make it really, really good and rich. Now the next thing we're gonna do now is, now that I've got the heat on, we're gonna take this down about halfway. We want a slow simmer. We do not want to boil this. It's just gonna slow simmer in this uh, for the next uh, little bit. I'm gonna get a, uh, occasionally stir this. This is gonna be really important to stir it when we add the sugar. We're gonna do the reduction to half. Then we're gonna add the sugar and then we're gonna reduce it half again. Oh yeah, <laughs> I started to walk away and I remembered something really important, the hibiscus flowers. For every liter, you want about a half a cup of hibiscus flowers, and so I've got a cup and a half here, and I'm just gonna pour this in, and then we're gonna stir that in as well. It'll all get strained here in a little bit. But we'll go ahead and do that now. And I will have links below to all of this stuff. If you can't get it locally, there's always the Amazon fairies. Like I said, we're just gonna kind of walk away now. Don't let it boil. So you can't walk away too far or for too long because you want to come back and check on it. And you don't want to cover this up. We want to let all that steam off, water off, and we want it to reduce. So there we go. We're just gonna back off, but check on it. Back off, but make sure she doesn't boil. While we're waiting, I'll take you and show you a project I'm working on. I apologize, the cicadas are out in force today, but this is my latest little carving that I'm making. Out of a four by four post, it's actually three and a half inches by three and a half inches wide, and then I re reduce it down from there, just using uh, power carving tools. Uh, but it's a moai, like one of the little Easter Island statues. I just stained it, and I'm getting ready to do something else to it. I wound up having to shut the garage door because the cicadas were so bad and the backlighting was just washing the thing out. But what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna, I'm gonna bury this thing in the ground, kind of like the real Easter Island tikis uh, or statues. And I got some of that stuff right there that you've seen on TV. And I think what I'm gonna do, this is a little jaw horse, pretty neat. I can put stuff on it and be able to carve and all that. But I think what I'll do is I'll take this basically a liquid uh, rubber. I'm gonna paint it all around the base of it, dig a little hole, bury it in there, and then have it in the tiki garden. Cool, huh? If you guys would be interested in watching videos on how I do this, uh, just let me know down in the comments below. I've got all kinds of tools and things that I use for this uh, that I can show you, and this is like my third tiki that I've made. First one looked like the Hilo Hillbilly, 
The second one, a little bit better. Uh, neat little full-size, uh, full-bodied tiki uh, with the aloha sign in his mouth. He looks like he needs a sandwich because he was made out of a four by four pose. And then this one. So uh, if you're interested, let me know down in the comments below and we might do some videos on that in the future. Let's go check on the grenadine now. Okay, gang, we're just about reduced half from where we started originally. You can see a lot of those chunks have actually kind of dissolved into this. Now, because I started off with three liters of pomegranate, I'm using three cups of sugar. And one thing very important here is you don't want to just dump this entire thing in here. We're going to put a little bit in and stir, stir, stir. We don't want it settling on the bottom. We want to make sure it mixes in really good and dissolves completely. Just a little bit at a time. You should smell it in here. Oh my gosh, the smell in this kitchen. The smell in this kitchen is so good right now. If you're making the smaller batch, remember one liter of pomegranate is going to get one cup of sugar. Now that I've got all of the sugar added, I'm going to keep stirring for a couple of minutes here just to be absolutely certain everything is dissolved. And then we're going to take this and we're going to reduce it down a half of where it's at right now. So we'll make a little note, mental note on where that's at on the side. We're going to get this reduced down and get her thickened up. And we will almost be done. I'm going to tell you right now, <laughs> an hour and a half was too optimistic for three liters of pomegranate juice. Um, it's going to take a little bit longer if you're doing a bigger batch, but it's just about ready. Come look at it. Yeah, I think we've got her exactly where we want her now. So now we're just going to turn the heat off. And i got to do a little taste test here. Mm. Pomegranate's there, the sugar's there, but also mm, the pineapple. A little hint of that, a little hint of the, the papaya and the mango. Oh, that's good stuff right there. So now we'll just set it off to the back here. I'm gonna let it cool down for 30 minutes to an hour, and then once it's good and cool, we'll bottle her up and make a tiki drink. Maybe just one more. This is the way it looks right now. You can see it's, uh, it's not super thick, but over the next uh, 30 minutes or so, she'll uh, continue to uh, thicken up a little bit, but It's not stick, sticky sweet like you would find <laughs> it's not sticky sweet and cherryish like you'd find in that one um, bottle at the liquor store we were talking about earlier it's just all natural goodness oh boy cool off let's make a tiki drink one of the things I like to do in all of my tiki drinks is I'm gonna add some vodka to the, each bottle, it aids in the preservative uh, benefits there. Half to an ounce of uh, vodka in the bottle. I do have a strainer on this right here. With this and all the fine uh, hibiscus flowers, we're gonna double strain though. So three liters actually made me about a bottle and a half of genuine, real, authentic grenadine. Probably going to give this one to a friend here. I'm going to leave them uncapped for a little while just so that we can kind of let them cool down and breathe. 
uh, the expansion and contraction issues that you have when you put hot liquids into a bottle. Uh, just going to leave them uncapped for maybe the next 30 minutes or so. In the meantime, let's make a tiki drink. This is called the Hawaiian Sunset. It actually originated at the Aku Aku in Las Vegas at the Stardust, which has long been imploded like a lot of the rest of Old Vegas, but a really refreshing drink. Into a tin with crushed ice, we're gonna do a half ounce of lemon juice, one half ounce of lime juice, one half to three quarters ounce orgeat, which is an almondy based, almondy? It's an almond-based simple syrup, which is absolutely fantastic. Uh, look for a video on that coming up. Recipe calls for a half a teaspoon of grenadine. I like to give it just a little bit more there. Look at that color. Mm -mm -mm. And then one and a half ounces of vodka. Now we shake it like Elvis. Shaking in Vegas, baby at the Yaku Yaku. Hunkle hunkle burn in there. And finally, we're gonna strain it out over the cracked ice. And look at that color. Would you look at that? Oh my gosh, that is gorgeous. Look at that color. Next, we're going to get us a bamboo straw in there, and I like, usually like to pick a flower from the garden. In this case, I've got a nice, beautiful hibiscus to put in there, and bam. You might want to make a double to fit a taller glass. Time to taste it. Akule Maluna means bottoms up. Wow, that's good. That's some good stuff there. First thing is that pomegranate we just made. It's so fresh. I can taste the fruits. I can taste the that pomegranate juice. It is so good. I, it calls for like a half a teaspoon. I put a little bit more in there, so it kind of powers right through. But the lemon and the lime are there. And then the orgeat is very subtle in this. I'm using a BG Reynolds orgeat. You can say Orjat or Orja. I'm in Arkansas, so I guess it's Orjat. <laughs> but it's very subtle, a little, just a little bit of almond to it. If you bumped it up just a little bit, I, honestly, if you wanted to customize this just a little bit, I would probably, I would think about throwing just a, just a little bit of cinnamon syrup in this. That would make it great. I do have a recipe for that up above here as well. Cinnamon syrup is fantastic. Oh, we actually made French toast last week and I used a little bit of it on that. Mm. This is so refreshing. It's not overpowering. It's just, it's bright and fruity and fantastic. You guys should try making your own uh, grenadine juice because that stuff you get in the store is not grenadine. This is, <laughs> and it's very good. This is a good breakfast drink too. Just because you drink in the morning doesn't mean you're an alcoholic, it means you're a pirate. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We really appreciate it when you hit the subscribe button and the bell notification, let you know when we're uploading new stuff. Thank you uh, once again, and we will see you in the next video. A Kool Aid Maluna. Mm -hmm. That's yummy. That is yummy. <laughs> it's really yummy. <laughs> Thank you very much.